Hello and welcome on in, I'm Chief 4 and today in Dyson Sphere I'm going to finally get a mall set up so that I don't have to keep handcrafting everything. Let's get into it. For those that missed my last episode, I finally kicked the dark fog off of my planet and I got everything that could be done in the smelter set up right here and ready to go. Between episodes, I kind of set up this guy here, which is basically the same thing I did with the smelters except with the assemblers. So that if it can be done in an assembler, it's done here. And then I've just looped it all around over here. In this nice pretty display of belts. And I've started working on the mall. So if we take a look. I have planned out what buildings are going to be built where. Now I just need to get all the belts set up because, you know, that that's always. I mean, this many belts is a lot of belts. Thankfully, we have these guys here, the Battlefield Analyst Base, and they they just make this process so much faster. So let's get some of these belts put in, shall we? Oh, and the one thing I did make a mistake of is my blueprints uh, for the, the up for the belts is is a little big. So we're gonna, we're just gonna do this. We're gonna go into our blueprints. We're gonna make a new one. And what I'm actually gonna do is just copy, like say this much of one. All right, how many pieces is that? 300, look at that. I didn't even plan that, that was totally by accident. Um, I'm actually gonna pull this back a little bit. Maybe to like there. Like, remove that. Can we remove that? How do you remove it? That's all right. I'll just redo it then. All right. We'll do that. All right. I'm just going to go to use now. And then we'll just, we'll just stamp this down a couple times. Oh, where's it colliding? Oh, that's fine. We'll just shift enter that. And then I'll just have to remember to, like, actually hook them up. You know... So I'll get this done and I'll be right back. And voila, got all the belts in. Nothing surprising happened, thankfully, thankfully. Uh, now I just gotta hook up all the buildings, which isn't too bad either with uh, with this setup. It's actually pretty nice. This is um, the Nilaus belt, I'm gonna call it, or the Nilaus mall. Um, I hope I'm saying his name right. And I'm only saying that because he was the first creator I saw do this method and it just, I love it. It looks so much neater than what I usually do. It just, oh, I, I love it. So we just take a look here. What do we need? We need iron or what do we need first? We got to take a look. Okay. So we need, what are they called? I don't know. We need these guys first, magnetic rings, I'm going to call them. Right, and then we need iron. And then we need green circuits. And then gears, where's the gears? Oh, and this is perfect, look at this. So I screwed up a little bit here and you're probably thinking, well, how are you gonna do that without deleting your belt? And I'll show you because oddly enough, there's enough room, right, if I go like this, It'll still, it'll still go. It'll still jump the one belt you want it to jump. Mind you, you can just redo it so that it looks neater, but it'll still jump and you essentially get three layers out of your belts this way. Oh, I love it. Love it. All right, so I'm going to hook up the rest of these and I'll be right back. All right, we've got them all set up. I did fix this one over here so that it, it's running properly without the weird jump in it. And I've got all these guys set up. Doesn't that just look so much neater? And when you look at it from the planetary view, it's just, oh, it's sexy. It's sexy. I love it. All right, now if I remember correctly, I have a power problem. Do I have a power problem? I don't have a power problem. I fixed it. So what I did was I just handcrafted a whole bunch of solar panels and I just started wrapping the equator. I'm sure I'm going to need more eventually, 
but now that I've got them on the mall right here, it's going to be so much easier to just grab them and hook them up when I need to. Uh, but I think it's time to get some red science going. Let's take a look. What do we need? We need red for that, red for that, red for that, red for that, red for that. Is there anything that needs just blue science? I don't think so. So while this is going, I'm going to, um, so while these are doing their thing, I'm going to set up the red science and get it ready to go because, uh, I can't really advance anymore without it. So let's get that going. So I just set up my oil field right here. Nice and easy. A couple of buildings anyways, you know, the three of them were all together. I may as well tap them all at the same time. Um, and I just pulled the graphite. Is it graphite or graphene? Too far away. I just pulled the graphite from right there, which is why I set up where I did. And now we've got the red science going. And as you can see, I just pulled my blue science from uh, way over here where it was already set up and stored. I didn't see a reason to set up another one when I already have a solid store supply over here. And now I can start plugging away at my red science, which of course is fun. I'm gonna aim for the fidget spinners, which is uh, this one here, so that we can get this stuff going. And it, it just, it saves running spaghetti belts everywhere because then you can start transporting stuff that way. Also, it saves me having to go into these buildings all the time to grab stuff because I can have them automatically delivered to me. It's exciting, I'm excited. But let's queue up some science and uh, let's see what we can do. What do we need for you to want a magnetic levitation? Ooh, let's get that going. So we'll get that started and then we can work towards our fidget spinners. All right, so now I need to expand the mall so I can actually get all of this stuff going. But as we can see, oh, I've got some vein utilization done too. Awesome. But I've got the, oh, have you guys seen this trick yet? So you take the splitters, is that what they're called? What are you called? You take a splitter and then you can put the storage depot right on top of it. Depot Mark 1. I think you can do it with the Mark 2s and stuff when you get there, but you can just slap it right on top of it here and it completely gets rid of the need for, um, what are these guys called? For the sorters. Look it. Straight into the depot and then straight out of the depot. The speed of your sorter doesn't matter because it's not used at all. I saw this trick first with Nilaus and oh my god, I love it. And I'm obviously capitalizing on it everywhere. But let's, like I said, I want to get these fidget spinners going. So let's, let's crack on. All right. So I've expanded the bus a little bit. I've got the hats here being, oh wait, well, I still got to hook them up, but that's the plan for those. I've got my missile turrets being built. Oh, I'm going to have to bury this. I don't really want to, but I'm not really sure what else to do with it. Cause it's right in the way. Let's hook this guy up and then we'll, uh, we'll keep going. Okay, so I am starting to run into some power problems. So I uh, I just made a little bit of a power field here. Um, these are a blueprint that I have from an old save. I should probably redo them, um, but you know, it is what it is. So all I've done is I've mined some coal or I tapped some coal uh, and it, I'm just running it all on a belt over to the uh, thermal generators. There's a coal there I'm gonna tap as well eventually. Yeah, so we got some more power going, and let's check on this bus. There's my green motors, hats, there's the fidget spinners, we can start setting those up. And as you can see, I've got some of the more advanced logistics and stuff going as well. And I did end up just burying this vein here because it, it was right in the way and it's, I don't know, it's, it's copper. It's not that big of a deal to bury copper, you know what I mean? 
All right, so I got the power sorted. What do I need to do next? Are these guys hooked up already? They are. So what do we need next? Should probably get some of this other stuff going. Ooh, let's set up sulfur actually. Let's get our sulfur going before I forget. And I'll do that up here. Oh, I've expanded my science a little bit too with the research being done. Um, but I've got the water coming in here. I've got gas there. And I've got stone right there. So let's set up this sulfur field, shall we? Alright, so like I said, I just am pulling the stone over this way. I'll probably set these guys up to be doing silica stuff. Um, and I've got my fidget spinner set up and going so they deliver things to me. What are they bringing me? Belts and sorters. Alright, but we got the sulfur running. And I'm just throwing it in this here for now until I need it. I think I need it for plastic, so that'll get set up eventually. There we go, so that's done. What else can we do? What's next? Oh, I'm excited for these guys. Look at this. Like, I almost want to... I almost want to upset the fog just so I can play with these guys. I've got the new um, Impulsion Cannon and the ammo, I'm assuming, to go with it. I just... Oh... I want to, oh, I just, oh, I can't wait to play with it. But I think it's going to have to wait until I go to the next planet to do that. Um, but let's get the, the mag rings done. And then probably have to do some more bus expanding. So let's get that stuff done. And uh, then that'll probably be it for this episode. All right, there we go. Got the mag rings done. Pulled right off of here, which I may regret eventually, but whatever. But I figured if I kept it back here, it would be easier to add on to the bus without making like a whole bunch of mess. And then I'm probably just going to continue this pattern as I unlock new things, have the buildings on that side and have the production on this side and just keep working my way down the bus. But that's going to be it for this episode. Join me next time where I'm just going to keep plugging away at expanding the bus and keep plugging away at the science. I'm T4, I'll see you later.